So when you're filling up this chopper, you have to make sure not to overfill it because it'll get jammed, um, especially with the bigger pieces. And here, I'm gonna show you, see I filled it up kinda high. I'm gonna show you why you don't wanna do that. If you did cut up the pieces a little bit smaller, you could probably load it this high. But with the chunks being bigger, it's gonna be hard to pull the string and cut it up without it getting stuck. As you can see, I'm trying to pull the string, but it just won't pull. It took a little bit out, and I may have taken a little bit too much out, but I wanted to play it safe. So here you're just gonna see how I chop everything up. And it's really, really, really small, tiny little pieces. And as you see it go, you can stop it at any point. So I wanted everything to be very, very finely, very, very tiny, small baby pieces because I'm going to take this and I'm going to saute it on the stove uh, with a couple other things. So, you know, at any point you could stop at your desired size. Once you get that size, you kind of knock it all down, pull the lid off and the blade out. And you're left with beautiful minced celery. <laughs> Yay! Now we're gonna do the same thing with carrots. And because carrots are a little bit uh, harder for the chopper, I would assume, I did cut them a little bit smaller. However, I don't even think I had to cut them as small as I did, but it's kind of trial and error as you go. And here we go again, chop, chop, chop. At first I thought I was gonna have a little bit of a, a problem or it might be a little bit difficult. As you can see, it kind of like spun to one side and it's giving me a little bit of trouble, but keep on pulling and messing around with it a bit. Knock it down and shake it around a little bit and it'll work. I, however, said, hmm, so it starts to go all to one side. Maybe I should add a little bit more in there and kind of like even it out. And then I was like, you know what? No, let's just keep on pulling away, tugging away, and eventually it'll chop itself, right? We only hope. So, like you can see, it did. And I was like, heck yeah, got her, get her done. And just to kind of show you guys what I'm doing with everything, I put the carrots and the celery in a saucepan and I used some of my chicken broth and we're just kind of saute slash boiling it, uh, just getting it cooked real down uh, into almost like a paste, if you will. Uh, and then I'm going to use that to flavor uh, what I am cooking, which is chicken pot pie. Yes, ma'am, yes, sir. Now we're gonna try some onions in the little chopper and see how it works. So with the onions, they're not as tough as carrots, but they are tougher than celery. So I kind of like chopped them up in chunks and then kind of just threw them in there hoping that it would work. Um, again, like I said before, all trial and error. You have no idea what's gonna work and what's not gonna work, but thankfully this did. Now we're just going ahead and put the lid on and then pull our string and see if it works. You know what I'm saying? Because that's all you can do, right? All right. All right. Now that the chopping is done, I did fast forward it a little bit because now we kind of get the idea of how it works. Um, and here they are. They're freaking beautiful. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. All right. Now we're going to try again, but I overfilled it a little bit this time. And I also made the onions a little bit bigger. We're just trying to see what works and what doesn't. And I tried pretty hard to get this to work and it just wouldn't. So I had to pull the lid off, take a few out, and then try it again. Round two. And here we go. No problem at all. It's chopped it up really nicely, really small, very fine, like a minced onion should be. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna say. And look at these beauts. All right, you guys, and that will do it for this short. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This product was definitely worth it. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!